Oh, there she is. I'm a bit shiny, guys. I just woke up. <laughs> Quite loud, isn't it? Look at my head. Look like an egg. Egg head. <laughs> Hi, guys. How you diddly doodling? Excuse the barnet. I literally went to lay down and then I was gone. But all right, guys, how you doing? I've had a good Sunday. I love a Sunday. I don't know what I'm talking about. I made myself a cup of tea. And I'm going to do a little read. I might do a little karmic one. Not that I want to, but I know you like them. See what the, see what the idiots are doing. If you ain't been here before, it's mental. <laughs> no, it's real. It's real. People think realness is wrong because there's so much fakeness in the world. And... It's good to be real, and people really, really don't like it because you're just used to fakeness. And I told you, there is nothing fake here apart from these two little squidgies here. My little eyebrows, that's it. Because fakeness does my head in. I don't like fake boobs. I don't like fake nothing. The only thing I'd get done fake is my teeth. If ever I got enough money, I'd get my teeth done. And that's not for vanity. That's how I could chew a steak, mate. Because I do miss having a steak, and I can't eat properly with my teeth. So that's the only thing I do. But um, I used to have beautiful teeth. I, got, I was called Colgate when I was at school. My smile was what people, a lot of old people used to, if I was at the bus stop with my kids, they'd be like, oh, you've got such a lovely smile. And that's why I didn't smile for a few years, because I got poisoned and drugged as well. And my teeth just deteriorated through it. It's my dentist that knew that I got drugged. And um, yeah, and then they started going like this three years ago, three, four years ago, when I was with my lovely ex, because he was jealous because my teeth were better than his. Yeah, seriously, he wanted to take my smile away. But he ain't, because he's back now. It's back, whether I've got teeth or not, mate. It's back. Go and get your fags. Go and get your coffee. Go and get your dogs. Go and get your neighbours' dogs. Grab anything. Just go and get it now. Put me on pause and then come back. Hello. <laughs> just do anything. Just come back. If you don't like me talking, just forward this bit. I have got you some different cards. They're my cards that I make. But I just got you another pile out. And don't worry, I don't smoke all day. I only smoke when I'm on here. And I'm not a daytime smoker, I'm a nighttime smoker. I bet people think I'm always sitting there with a fag in me and I smoke a lot. I don't actually, I don't hardly smoke at all. I gave up smoking altogether. But where I'd like to smoke weed since I was 14, and I'm now 50, I couldn't handle it. I was like, literally, I was losing my mind. I thought, oh, I cannot sit there. The reason I smoke backy, because I do miss rolling a joint. And um, I used to love rolling. I could sit there all night and roll nine, 12 joints and smoke them all, mate. I never went to sleep. I used to say, I'd just rather sit up and smoke. But I don't miss the weed, and I don't, because I wasn't a functioning stoner. I used to, and that's the same thing as that. I used to be a carer when I smoked, but I used to do my care all day, like 12 to 16 hour shifts. Didn't want a joint once. I would never have a joint when I was working. And then I'd be like, when I got home, It'd be a habit. I'd get in, have my shower, sit down, get my tray out, roll up joint, but I'd never eat. I'd never eat. So I used to be like sitting there just smoking weed. I lived on weed and coffee. But um, I didn't even miss a joint when I was at work. So I knew that obviously I could give it up because I don't think about it when I'm busy. And doing this, when I wake and doing YouTube, helped me give it up. Because instead of having a joint, I'd come on here. And then uh, sometimes I would fancy a joint after. But that don't last. If you're trying to give up weed, it is not... Um, hard at all. It's the thought of it. Because when I first um, gave up, the only thing I'll warn you, you probably know this, if you know this, don't bother putting it in the comments. I'm just talking to people that don't. The worst thing is from the THC. And for about, I'm not joking, I ain't going to lie to you, about a year, two years, you'll have the worst nightmares of your life. But it's all your old stuff coming back that you've suppressed through smoking the weed. So just like try and try and do it. Because I tell you what, I don't, I really enjoy a roll up these days. And I sleep so much. It's because I haven't had sleep for so long. I'm catching up on all my sleep. So I'm a year free of smoking no weed. And um, I gave up as well for a year before that. Well, six months. And then um, I was having a sneaky one, though. And I was lying to myself. Because everyone's like, oh, you give up? I was like, yeah. And I thought, no, I'm not. I'm lying. I'm still having a sneaky one. So I haven't given up. But this time, I've not even had a sneaky one. And um, I don't even mind the smell of it. I mean, I've got people around me that smoke it. But... I, don't, I can't sit in a room with it, though, because I'd probably end up going, oh, this is a tote on that. And no, I probably would. I'm not going to lie. Once you're an addict, you're always an addict. So anyway, let's get on. This is why my lips are like, 
because I'm smoking. No, it's not. It's because of my teeth, I think. But no, not bad for an old bird. Like I said, I'm half asleep, but sometimes this works out a lot better. I've got me um, flute music on. That copyright music's rubbish. Every music on copyright, so you don't get done. It's boring. This is the only one I can find that's decent. And I like me shaman drumming. I love drumming, but can't have it because I've got it done. Right, someone's still fake. Oh, fakery, fakery. We've got it here, the Burger King. Oh, I love it. There's a guy on tarot called Steve's Tarot. Steve's love tarot. Oh, if you ain't seen him, go and watch him. He's hilarious. He's not like any other tarot reader. He's like, not like me as in me. He's himself, and he's so funny. And um, he calls everyone the Burger King. That's where it come from, the Burger King. There's a lot of people who use it now. And I just think it's funny because it's like they think they're a king, but they got the Burger King crown on. <laughs> Out of Burger King. My kids used to wear them. I'm going to have to try and go and get one and put it on when I do you a chat, do you one of these. <laughs> so this person's fake. Yes, yeah, Steve's love turret. He cracks me up. But yeah, it's a fake life. So they're literally still pretending about their life. They're still being fake to their friends. And uh I think this person just fakes it all. I think this person would even fake that they've got a job. Like, they'd probably get... I could see someone getting ready for work in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to work. And, that. and then they, this might resonate with you. And then uh, they ain't even got a job. Or they might say they're a pilot, but they're a cleaner. Or something like that. Nothing wrong with cleaners. I've cleaned all my life. Got to be careful what you say on there. People take it so offensively. But, um, yeah, this person's just faking everything. They're still doing it. And they still, um, they've got fake friends that, that are the same as them. But I think because they've got fake friends that are the same as them, they're all fake. And then they're fake to their friends. So how are you friends then? Because you're all fake. But it like, don't make sense. But they fake it all, mate. They fake it all. Yeah, my phone's just flashed. Yeah, if someone um, can see the good in you, or you can see the good in yourself now. But... There is, uh, God is paying his debts without money, my little collective. Oh, yes, he is. I love it. My nan used to say that. God pays his debts without money, Carol. Yeah, because he will. God will pay his debts without money because he'll come and take stuff off you and he'll take people off you. Well, I've got a card in my pocket. Hold up, guys. There's always something going on here. No, guess what? You know me and my shopping list. Oh, I love a shopping list. I've been writing on my cards again, look. Bloody shopping list. Yeah, my name changed because I've been going through so many names. Just fearing off for a minute. I came up with Phoenix Rain. I might that suits me better because I came up with um, um, Eliora Grace or Grace Eliora, but I think that's a bit too soft for me because I've been through a lot, mate, and it's been a storm and it has, and I've rose like a phoenix. So I think I might call myself Phoenix Rain. Sound like a rock star, did not I? And here tonight we got Phoenix Rain. <laughs> Or I was going to say rainstorm, but can you imagine the comments I'll get when I'm in the doctors? Uh, rainstorm? <laughs> no, it's sunny out, love. But no, I like Phoenix Rain, and I like the way it's written down, look. So I might call myself Phoenix Rain. I don't know yet, because I'm changing my name. Right, let's get back to it. All the disruptions. Sorry, babe, but it's like it here, and I can't change the way I am, and I'm a fidgeter. So an eye for eyes happening. So God's paying his debts now without money, so God will be taking away... Loads of things. I'm not being funny. I just got in from this card seeing them eyes. Someone might have really weird eyes. If you saw this person, their eyes could have changed a lot. They might have really red eyes, like from drinking and doing drugs, or they might be feeling like that through God's taking everything, and they feel like they're losing it. Because I can see the red eyes. I don't really notice that. I don't need for an eye for an eye, but I can see like red eyes. This person's eyes might change. Like, as in, like, you might have seen them when they argue or argued with their eyes might have gone black or they might have got, they just got red eyes. They might be really, like, different than when you last saw them. Yeah, this person thinks that um, where you're confident, that you're quite arrogant. <laughs> because they're insecure. Because confidence looks like arrogance to be insecure, doesn't it? Some might be thinking you're arrogant. They probably think you're arrogant because you're real and they're fake. They probably think you're arrogant because you believe in God and you walk with God. And when you believe in God and you walk with God, you walk a lot taller. And um, they're just a jealous little freak, this person. And I've got that song in my head, Super Freak. 
<laughs> you're a super freak. Yeah, this person doesn't like it because you're really lucky, but you're not lucky. You're blessed. This person would think it's luck. Oh, they're really lucky, but you're not lucky. It's because you're blessed by God and God pays his debts without money. An eye for an eye. So if you've had loads of things um, taken off you, you will be blessed now. And you are a blessing. Don't forget that, guys. You are a blessing. My light might go off because it is on one. Wow, come on. It's on one percent. So you are your home. So if you're living somewhere and you feel like you don't um, feel at home there, I think you're your home wherever you live. Like when you shut the door, it's fine. You are your home. You are what makes a home. Someone might be feeling like you are home as well, I'm getting. Like the way you have your home, the way you make your home feel homely. Maybe you've got a nice home or just you are your home. No matter where you live, even if you didn't have a lot, because you're there, it's home. But you might also, I'm getting as well, is... um. If you feel like you don't fit in, don't worry. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to be where you are so you stand out. And you can change people and change things around. Or maybe you are at home and you've moved back home and you feel like you're more at home now because you are where your home is. Yeah, this person lays their at everywhere and that's where their home is. Wherever I lay my at, that's my home. <laughs> Seriously. Who sings that? I can hear it. Wherever I lay my hat, that's my home. Do, do, do. Oh, I don't know who sings that. Yeah, this person's made the worst mistake of their life because they've got fake friends and their life is not good at all at the moment. It's because they faked it all and they pretended and now they know how blessed you are because you are happy wherever your home is. And I feel that they've made the worst mistake of their life and they know it. Oh, sorry, guys. It's that time of night when my light gets a bit dodgy. So June the 6th could be a date for you. Or July the 7th. Isn't that Gemini? So, or it could be you could have been born in 76. Or you could have been born in 67. Your name could be June. It could even be Julie, I'm getting. Or Junie. My mum's name's June. I cannot stand her. I'm being serious. Yeah, so it could be. I'm sure that's Gemini, guys. Oh, we got Taurus as well. So you could be an Earth sign. So you could be like Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or that's what you could be dealing with. So we've got Gemini and Earth signs. Or I'm sure that is um, Gemini. Right, let's see. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. The, the correcting police. <laughs> Oh, there's always one, isn't there? I feel like you've been going through this about four to five years. Yeah, you're a lot stronger than people realise. You're a lot stronger than uh, you seem to others. So you might have... Um, that was their worst mistake I just got. That was their worst mistake, not realising that you were stronger than they thought you were. Oh, yeah, definitely. So because you're so blessed as well, this person's realising that you're blessed. You've got through a lot because you don't fake anything. You don't. And I think this person didn't realise that you were a lot stronger. You may not have outed yourself as being so strong. Maybe this has made you stronger, what's happened. And you didn't realise how strong you were. But that's the worst mistake that they've made is realising that you are stronger than they thought. So you've probably surprised this person a lot with your strength. Oh, don't worry, it's over for this person, but it ain't over for you. Oh, it's over for this person. Don't you dare give up. Don't give up. Seriously, keep on trying, all right? It might not be over for you, for this person I'm getting, with this person. It might not be over. Because there's loads of different people that are watching me, because I just got that. When it said it ain't over for you, it might not be over for you with this person. This person might want to start over with you again. I mean, it ain't over for you as in you might want to keep your religion or you might want to turn to faith now and you might feel like it's too late and you can't do it no more. But you can. It's never too late. Never too late, darling. So don't give up. But it ain't over for you. It could be even moving. You might want to move and you feel like, oh, I can't move now. It's all over. It might have got messed up or something. I mean, we all make mistakes, love. We all make mistakes. Maybe someone's made the biggest mistake of their life. 
And if it's not karmic, it might not be over for you too. You might better make it work. Because it's not all karmic -y. Not everybody's on Karmicville on YouTube. I know everyone thinks they are. But there might be some people watching who you do want to give someone a second chance. Because I'm getting that with someone. You might want to move on with someone. Maybe you could get a lot healthier with this person if they're not karmic. And you've just, like, made some mistakes. Sometimes you can split up with people and go your separate ways. You can even get remarried. And you can go back with that person again because you both learn your lessons. And then it was just the right person at the wrong time. That's all. So you might want to start again. It might not be over for you too. I'm getting that very strongly. So this might be for someone else. You might be feeling that your health's going to make things over for you. Well, it's not. It's not over for you. You might. I'm getting that as well. You might have a health scare and you're, you're going to be all right. You are. It's not over. Whatever you're thinking about, it is not over for you. And it's not. All right. So it could be with someone. It could be moving. It could be getting your faith. Starting over again with someone. Starting over again, just moving to a new place. It is not over. It's never over until the fat lady sings, darling. That's what we say in England. I'm being serious. It's not. It ain't over for you. It's not. You might be someone's home and they're feeling, feeling like I've made the worst mistake of my life. This person was really blessed and I feel like it's over. And this might be a Gemini or an Earth sign. And I'm not being afraid. This person might have done a lot of fakeness and realised, oh, what have I done? I've gone with people that are fake. They told me like everything in the life they wanted to give me has been fake. This person could have faked everything, but maybe they might just be realising. I am getting that quite strongly, guys, because not everybody on it is with a karmic person. Yeah, because somebody, oh, but then again, look. <laughs> dumb and dumber. Well, your little dumb, dumb ass might have gone off with another dummy. Yeah, my phone's just flashed. Success is closer than you think. That's what I just got on my um, notification. So this could be a job you might have feels over. Maybe you felt a bit dumb in this job I'm getting. You might have thought, well, I'm not, I'm a bit too good for this job. Hmm, because that just came up on my notification. You might have felt a bit dumb being with this person and thought, you know what I mean, what, what a dumb idiot. We've all done it, babe, seriously. But kindness always comes back to you. Someone might be realising how kind you are and they might want to come back to you. But then again, this person could be very entitled, so it switches. The angels are like, going, no, Kerry, stop trying to fluff this up. I do try. Love is good, isn't it? Even though I've been through karmic relationships, I still love love. I love love. I loved being in love. I like being with one person as well. I love it. I love being with one man and giving my all to that person. But then the people I'm with changes your fortunes forever. So something might change your fortunes forever. I'm getting a lot of notifications coming up, and I will tell you what they are, because they don't always do this. So something could change your fortunes forever. Maybe you could be entitled to something I'm getting. I'm not feeling that. Very entitled. Someone might have thought they was entitled to something. Might have been entitled to your kindness. Right, sad news is coming because someone was very entitled. Right, angels lead me here because I'm getting all different stories, which I'm glad of because I don't like the same story. It bores me to death. So angels, just guide me. We've got dumb and dumber. All right, guys. So it could be you feeling dumb and that maybe you've been dumber than you've ever been before, being with someone who was very entitled because you know that you were so kind to this person and probably you made the biggest mistake of your life hanging around this fake cast and these fake people. You might have been, you might not even be an ex. It might be like friends, family or whatever, okay? Put it where it fits. It might be a job. I'm feeling it's a job as well, but it ain't over for you and it's not. This could even be for you, maybe like you are entitled to something because you were so kind and kindness is coming back to you. And I feel like you you could be entitled to something, very entitled to something, not entitled person like you. Look at me, Ooh, I get really passionate because I feel it. So something might have gone too far. I'm feeling you are like, you're entitled to something. So, someone could have gone too far because they felt very entitled. I had another um, notification, but I missed it. But then we had sad news. So, there might be sad news for this SHIT bag. There might be a bit of sad news coming in for this old... I'd love to say it, but I can't because I get monetized. I've done it. What? I can't swear! I love it! Right, so sad news could be coming in for that. <sighs> right. 
You know why sad news is coming in for this person, don't you? Sad news is coming in for this bag, right? Because they got a kick out of playing you. Oh, yes, they did. They got a kick out of playing you. Right, so they got sad news coming in. This person's a nut job. They are, they're a nut job. This person just gets a kick out of playing people, playing you, talking about you. They gossiped about you, probably spread rumours about you, probably told you secrets to everybody in relationships that they was having. They play people in relationships. They get a kick out of this and they do, and that's why they're getting sad news. So we'll, we're very um, pleased to know that at least the entitled... I oh, really want to say it. <laughs> Sorry to revel in it, but they deserve it. So this could be a Gemini on air side. Right. Someone wanted it over for you. That's why. Because you were so kind and they didn't like it. This person might want to come back to you because you are very kind. And they know they've made a mistake. But this person could be a little bit dumb. Or you could feel it. I do repeat myself, guys, because I am guided to repeat myself. I've got some cards over there I'm getting drawn to. I might pick them up in a minute. See what else we've got, angels and ancestors. And we'll see what's going on. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> That's what I got on the card, idiot. I will get drawn to some cards, and some cards I won't. Wow, very immature is on the floor. Who is this joker? Right, we're on Dumb and Dumber. We're sticking to this. Right, guys, let me go back a little bit because I want to put my legs up. Oh, I like sitting my legs crossed. I sit my legs crossed in the car, but not while driving. <laughs> That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Right, so someone's very immature. But someone's very... They might like partying a lot. I'm seeing it with all this streamers and that and confetti for some reason. Yeah, they haven't got very... Um, their faces are up. This person is very insecure. Insecure? Why did I say insecure? They must be insecure as well. It's immature. So they're very immature. They might be insecure because they're so immature. Right. Thank you, angels. So, this joker, right? This person might be immature where they think everything's funny. They joke around. They don't care about anyone's feelings. They just think everything's funny. They get a kick out of it. Yeah, that's why I look. Because they get a kick out of it because they're so immature that they think everything's funny and they don't care about how people feel. So when they make jokes about people, they just don't care if it upsets people. They don't care if it makes them feel sad. They might even like torment people when they get sad news in and they actually revel in it, I'm feeling. So yeah, right. So we're still on this um, idiot. I saw the idiot card, I knew it was, and then it said very immature. Right, so you changed your mind on this person and you did. Might have felt very weak when you changed your mind on this person. This person might have made you feel very weak as, as an inner person. But um, changing your mind is strength, not a weakness, guys, all right? Yeah, because now this person might have had you in a place where you had to, like, you didn't know who you were. You had to retrain yourself to believe who you were because this person like, was playing so many games you or played with you as in went off with other people and gossiped and talked. You might not have known anything about this because this person, you might re not realise how much of an, like, an idiot this person was. So I feel that you've had to. What did I say? I said to you, I don't know why. I thought I had a card and it said three to four years. I had that in my head. Three to four years you've been going through this. I thought so. Look. I'd have thought it's three to four years, but it says on there one, two, three. So take it where it fits. But I, I had in my head um, three to four years. So that's how long you could be apart from this person or how long this went on for. They could have been playing you for this amount of time. Imagine if someone abused you that long. I know, I've been there. And then you have to retrain um, yourself and retrain. You might have had to have retrained how you thought, as in, like, you literally... Like in a new job as well, I'm getting you might have actually retrained in a job on how you thought about a job. My nose is itching, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> That's for one of you, that is. You might have had to do a bit of retraining. Oh, <coughs> oh, right. Woo! 
So that is the one of you, because I got that quite strong then, retraining. So you could be retraining for a new job. You could have been retraining for a new job for a few years. Right. So, you might have changed your mind on this. You might want to go back to it. Maybe this job makes you feel strong. Maybe you was weak at the time when you was in this job, I'm feeling. Right. Take things slow. So you might need... I feel... I don't know how to put this. Let me go. Right, let me wait for the slow minute and like a sponge. I'm going to take that out. Hang on, because I want to get something else on that. So I don't know if I'm going... I was going to say that. It's exactly what I was feeling. Right, my nose is so itchy. Right. I feel your brain is like a sponge at the minute. I feel like you can take everything in and you, like, absorb it. Whereas before, you couldn't. This is what I was feeling. Thank you, angels. So you literally had to retrain the way you think about everything. Retrain every everything in your life. You've had to retrain yourself. Maybe you've just changed as a person altogether. But now, you've got much more energy. And I feel like when things were said to you or in a job say in a job for instance okay people will say things to you and you just didn't take it in like maybe you didn't get things when you was at school maybe you like it go in one ear and out the other but nowadays where you've like got your head straight you can take things in like a sponge so literally like maybe even spirit you can take in that very well I don't know I'm getting you can really hold things in your head now so you're a lot smarter than you think, and you are. Someone might have said that you wasn't very smart, but you are, and you're very smart. And I feel you can take a lot of information. Now, that might be to do with this retraining of this job. Right. I feel you do want to create a loving and healthy relationship. I do. But you're playing it safe. I do. I feel you miss love. I do on this. I feel like you, you, like, you like to create in a loving atmosphere. And I think when you was in a relationship, or if you are, you feel very healthy and you wanted a relationship that's going to last a long time. Yeah, I feel like you do. When I said that at the beginning about I love being in a relationship, it always resonates what I say. And I do, I do feel that on you. But you're playing it safe at the minute, and you are. Or somebody could have gone somewhere, I'm getting now as well, so don't dismiss what I've said, it's just changes people's stories, okay, or the other person we're dealing with, somebody could have gone off with a mother figure, or to a mum, or to a dad, or are they just a person that is a mum or a dad, take it where it fits, or this person could be older, could be you, it could be them, right, because they thought they were going to create a loving and healthy, long-lasting relationship, with somebody else and you realised and outsmarted this person when you found out, okay? Because this person thought if they went to this other person, they would have to play it safe. They could play it safe for this person. So this could be an older person or mum and dad. They could have gone back to mum and dad, okay? Because they thought, well, if I go back to mum and dad or mother figure or whatever then it's safe for them. I don't have to pay bills or I can just... They know what I am. They know I'm a SHIT bag. And uh, it doesn't matter if I walk around the house moping around because they'll just put up with me just to be there because I can just turn up and I can just be there. But this person did this because they thought they could play it safe and thought they could create this relationship. Now, you outsmarted this person. I think this person as well on this sponge car, thank you, car car they might have took your car you might have just washed your car said sponge car i hope you don't have a car made of sponge that ain't gonna last long in the weather is it <laughs> seriously my mind's going all over the place now i'm seeing a sponge car <laughs> right carry stop it so hang on a minute yeah yeah right this person, this is this is it. We're on the right track, guys. So this person thought they were really smart going with someone else. And they thought, oh, this will be a loving relationship. Oh, it will last long. And they probably pretended to be healthy, right? But this older person playing it safe. No. The person they've gone to is killing them. <laughs> Seriously. And it's draining their energy. Or your person's doing this to their person. And it's very harmful. And it is. This person could be very harmful. 
So this person, right, they they literally want out now. They want out of this relationship or this home because they feel defeated. So some, unlike, could be you that's defeated them. They could just feel de defeated or depleted in general, okay? Because this person, I feel like someone has cut them off or is going to cut them off or they want to cut this person off. Put it where it fits because this person's very damaging. Now... Yeah, they, they want out now because now they feel hurt because you don't feel upset anymore. And before, they liked you feeling upset. So this could be a job or a person, all right? Put it where it fits. But this person now feels really peed off, and they do. Because before, you was upset, and now they're upset. So now they want out because you've defeated them. Now, you probably don't even know you've defeated this person because this person's in competition with themselves, and they are. But this person they're with, or your person, actually drains people like a sponge. Like I said, they might just cut off people like that. Like I said before, they just cut people off and move on. Well, I feel like someone else is cutting them off, or they played them. And their energy, they've taken all their energy, they've killed their spirit, and it's now given them harm. They might have even harmed them as they've been violent, all right? They might have even, like, literally, like, I don't even know. I think spirit might have even done this, the Holy Spirit. I do. I feel like this might be to do with angels, and that might have done this. I really do. Because now they want out, they might not be able to get out, I'm being led to say. Because spirit angels won't allow it. Because of how damaging they were to you and they cut you off, now they can live in this place and have all the harm and sit there taking all in all the sad news. This might be sad news to this person that they're actually stuck. And they can now, yeah, because they've got a kick out of it with you. Right, that's why this person knows how kind you were. Because where they went, they thought they had it all. I could have had it all. Yeah, now you're all calm. And this person's in chaos. This person is in chaos, all right? This person is in chaos. Because you're calm and safe in the midst of chaos. So now this person could have caused you a lot of chaos before. So this person now is in chaos, right? And you're not. You're all right. And they're getting energy drained. And they're probably getting a lot of harm. There might even be a D-E-A-T-H. Because this person went to this other person or this other job, wherever, and they had a really bad attitude and all they did was tell lies about you. And they were so jealous of you that they thought that they would speak how they wanted about you, this little turd. And this person was mocking you to other people. Oh, yeah, mocking the way you was dressing, probably the way you was talking, what you believed in. Uh, literally everything could have even said about your house, said your house was horrible, or said that you was too tidy and finicky, put it where it fits. But this person literally told loads of fake, like, stories about you, and they had no right mocking you, and they mocked other people as well. So this person's obviously a little bit of a chitter-chatter. Yeah, this person is just a, an ass, and they are... So this person now had no right mocking you because all this person does is lie. They've got an attitude problem. They probably don't dress very well. They probably don't have a very nice house. And they're jealous. This person is so jealous because of you progressing. That's probably what they were mocking you about as well because you were progressing and because you're a lot smarter than this person. And they were mocking you and they was. Now this person could have stole off of you or could have been done for a robbery. They might have even planned to do a robbery on you. They might have just stolen, like, time. You might even know this. This person just might be a thief of energy. But this person could be have been in a robbery or a thief or stolen something. So they had no right mocking you about anything to do with you. Because I think this person's a criminal. And a lot of people might know where they are that they are, but they might not, because this person's fake. So this is a mum or a dad. So this could be a mum and a dad together, or it could be a man and a woman who's older, or it could just be your mum and dad, all right, or someone who just is a mum and dad, okay? Just put it where it fits. So you'll know. But where they are at the minute, oh, it is chaos. Oh, but they got a kick out of playing you, and I feel this person is being played. Now, they might have been played as in someone might actually talk to someone else 
about them doing a robbery, it might even come out. This is going to be a lesson to this person, and it is. So it could come out about this person being a thief or a robber. You might not even know. Now, this person could have been doing this for free, up to three years. They might even get three years. Or if you know someone has been put in prison or going to court, they might get three years. Because I keep getting three years, three to four years. So somebody might get three to four years. But just thank the Lord for this as a lesson. Honestly, this is a lesson to you. Maybe it'll be a lesson to this person I'm getting. This could be a lesson to this person. Right, let's have a shuffle. Let me go over and get the cards. What we on? 35. Right, I better wrap it up. See, I don't want it. When it's like this, I want to carry on. Yeah, this person came for you. Oh, these have just fell out, so I'm going to take them. Right, they literally went... Phew. So this person came for you. So they could have come to you to rob your house or come to you to steal from you. As in, they might have wanted just to steal your life. With this, this mum and dad might have done this. Right, so this person was not wishing very good things on you. They was wishing ill will on you. But I think you've got a clear head now and you know what's been going on. You do. So this person wasn't wishing well, like they were wishing ill will on you. That might be why they get done for a robbery because at the beginning, what do we have? God pays his debts without money. That's how God will get you. He can lace your drugs. He can make sure when you go out one day, you turn right rather than left. You get head on collision in the car. That might resonate. I'm being serious, because this person wanted people not to have a clear head about you. They didn't like the fact that you did a lot for others in your community. This person didn't like the fact that you was expressing yourself, you was getting more out there. People were starting to like you. I think people are realising now they've got more of a clear head that you, like they like the fact that you're expressing yourself and you're more confident. And people are realising that you do do a lot for your community, and your community really do like you. Now, this person could have been mocking other people in the community about you. Now your community prefer you than this person. They might actually belong to this community and, and might have been there a long time. Well, now, look, they're triggered now. They don't like it. And they find this very sad that everyone now thinks that they are. That's what people are seeing this person as. And people are seeing now that you are a lot stronger than this person. And you are. You might even be showing yourself to be stronger to other people. This person mocked you with. <laughs> oh, how the mighty fall. You might have to take yourself on a date. And celebrate, celebrate. Maybe you do want to take yourself out on a date. Take yourself out a bit of lunch if you can. Oh, my son rang me while I was asleep and they left me a voice message. Mum, you want me to take you for breakfast on your birthday? I was like, oh, he's never done that. I was like, yeah, I'll try to bring him back, but he's busy. I just saw an orb then. Yeah, so my son's asked to take me out for breakfast on my birthday. So I thought it was really nice. Right, put away toxic thoughts. So, yeah, right, people have put away toxic thoughts about you now. So someone might have put toxic thoughts in people's head. Because now, it's not so funny now. No, it's not. Yeah, because thoughts of them are faded away now. You're not thinking about this person that much. I think you're putting away toxic thoughts about this person. Maybe this person is, but I feel this is you. Yeah, thoughts of them are fading away. And it is. I think you're feeling this. You might be feeling this. You might be feeling it in the air sort of thing. It might be getting you a little bit upset. Like, you're not... Because you still love this person at one time. You might be feeling horrible. Or you might feel horrible this person stole your money. You might feel very sad about that. You might have been in pain over this. It might be upsetting that you're not going to be with this person anymore. Maybe you did have a lot of feelings for this person. Maybe you wanted this person to make a gesture towards you and they never did. Or maybe this person thought you were going to come back and make it to them. And that's what's triggering them because you've like cut them off now. And it's like... It's over. But this person, I feel this person might be feeling this. They might be feeling upset now. And they're feeling your pain, thank you, angels. So they're now feeling your pain, what you had to feel. Now they've got to feel sad. And now they've got to feel anxious because you're happy, thank you, angels. Yeah, they're feeling it now. Thank you for that, because they turned that around. So thoughts of them are fading away. And now they're feeling how you're feeling, because you're ignoring them. Because they now feel like giving you a heartfelt gesture because now their heart feels empty now. 
but they shouldn't have mocked you. They had no right mocking you with other people. And now you've outsmarted this MF. Now they feel triggered. And now everyone now loves you in the community. You're doing loads for your community. Or you probably just really enjoy being in your community. And all the kindness that you showed this person and they blat like blatantly threw away is now all coming back to you. So the community will be showing you kindness. And not this. But I'm going to go because it's 40 20. So I really enjoyed that read and I did and I hope you did too. So I will come back later. Do, 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 do. Have a lovely Sunday fun day and I'll see you soon. And thank you if you like my video, video. <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? Just subscribe. It is free. And also, thanks for all your messages and thanks for all your super thanks and your donations. I really do appreciate them and I do. And I will see you soon. Oh, so and all then. Adios amigos. Mwah.